All right, so thankfully I'm joined by uh, Hull City defender Yodi Device. Yodi, how are you doing? Yes, uh, it's a difficult time, you know. Um, not really sure what's what's going to happen, but um, yeah, just you have to be ready for everything. So um, that's what we prepare for. Absolutely, and it's just been a week until you've uh, got back into training. So has it felt weird being back in training after being away from the training ground for so long? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because um, you haven't done any contact training since. So um, no, but we have a, a really good, good fit, healthy group now. Uh, everybody is back from injury, and everybody is is hungry to to play again. And um, yeah, make sure everybody is ready for the, the the rest of the games. How have you been during lockdown? Have you have you done anything that's been able to keep you entertained in the meantime? It's been quite a long time for everybody, but. Everybody's been dealing with it in different ways. So, how have you found it? Um, yeah, in the beginning, you have a lot of uh, spare time. You know, um, I had all the time for the for the kids and and my girlfriend. You know, so. Um, but then, in a few weeks, you get a bit frustrated. Like, yeah, can I get started again? And um, yeah, of course, we've done all the all the work that was sent through by the. By the staff and the, the the running and stuff, but that's not really what you want to do. You know, uh, you want to be out there on the pitch and do what you love to do. And um, yeah, that's what we can do now. So uh, we just make the the most of it. And um, yeah, like I said before, we just make sure we're ready for when uh, the season gets started again. It's been a little bit frustrating for us all, hasn't it? And especially like just before the season was curtailed, um, you suffered a little bit of an injury just after the bands again, missed a couple of games. Uh, how frustrating was that for you at such a such a difficult time as well to to, to pick up that injury? Yeah, of course. Um, when a football player has injury, is always uh, frustrating. But um, yeah, it, it happens, and. Um, the only thing you can do is make sure you, you come back as fit as possible. And um, yeah, now the coronavirus came in, uh, I had the, the time to to build up everything, make sure the, the calf injury is, um, yeah, is cleared. And um, so I've been, I've been working hard and um, I've done everything. So um, the calf is strong and um, I, have a, I have a good week behind me. So, yeah. I think, like you touched on there, the break maybe came a, a, a good time for you because it gave you a bit of time to heal up that injury and get ready for, for what's to come as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, I've been in, in in connection with the with the physical staff, and they managed me um, to do my exercise at home and uh, sometimes little little bit of stuff at the training ground on the pitch. So um, yeah, they done really well. Obviously, it's been a bit of a turbulent year for the Tigers, um, a fair few ups and downs. So just give us your thoughts on the season as a whole so far. What have, what have you made of it? Um, I think um, before Christmas, we've done really well. And um, yeah, I had the feeling that we could push for the playoffs. And um, But yeah, of course, after Christmas, everything changed and um, we lost our two key players. But still, I had the feeling that we could do that with with the players we had at the moment. So, um, yeah, other players has, had to stand up. And, of course, then uh, a lot of players were getting injured and everything was a little bit against us. So, um, it's a bit unlucky, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there's been a fair few highlights of this season. I know it's, it's, it's dropped off a little bit at the minute, um, but... Plenty of highlights as well, like for instance, especially for yourself, scoring against Cardiff and that iconic photo at QPR as well with the blood across your face celebrating after that really good win. What's been your highlight so far of this season and, and what, have you, what have you missed about it? Yeah, of course, the, the, the wins, you know, um, especially the, the home wins and the hard away wins. But I mean, um, like when everything is going well, then you hear no one. But, you know, we have to stand up as a group when it's, when it's not... Not uh, not that well. So um, no, but if you, if you speak about the highlights, yeah, of course, uh, the goals, the clean sheets, and uh, the wins. You know, that's the main thing. As we touched on already now, the preparations are back underway. If the season does get restarted, and how are you feeling personally, and also as a group, what is the feeling amongst the camp? Um, 
confident because um, yeah, we have a fit, healthy, a good group, and uh, everybody is uh, is ready for the games. And um, hopefully, we can get like a few friendly games before the season gets started, before we get the, the green light from the EFL to uh, to play those games. But um, yeah, like I said, we have to prepare ourselves for the last nine, eight, nine games and um, make the most of it and make sure that we are in a good position when the season is finished. Absolutely. And obviously getting back into training, how was it like seeing all, the, all your teammates again after such a long time? Was it was a bit of a uh, sort of uh, a, a nice thing to return to? Yeah, of course. Um, everybody making jokes again and, you know, the, the fun and there's football as well, you know, it's, it's hard work and and yeah, like I said, hard work and make sure we win games. But on the other side, it's it's fun and it's nice to be out there with the lads and uh, you know. So. And as we touched on already, is yourself returning from injury. We've got a few more to come as well. The likes of James Scott, Josh Bowler, a, a lot of players uh, coming back into this team, which will really give us a boost should the season restart. Obviously, it was a little bit of a, a makeshift uh, back four as well with with so many injuries. So. Uh, it'll be good and it'll give us a boost to, to have those players back. Yeah, of course. Um, like you see, for, for the other players as well, you know, when they see like everybody is fit, everybody has to work hard for, the, for their spot in the first, first 11. So, and the other players get maybe more confidence because they know everybody is back fit. Um, so the team is 100%, you know, so. That's it. It's, it's just about having that confidence within a group, within the group that, uh, when games do come back, that, you, that you're ready for it to start and that you're ready, ready to go again. Um, and then just just finally, like obviously we've got nine games left now, um, a fair few challenging away games as well. Uh, how how are you feeling ahead of these final nine games? Is it just a case of uh, preparing yourself and then just getting ready to to fight when we get back? Yeah, hundred percent. But I think um, the away games will be different now, and and home <laughs> home games as well. But I mean. Um, there are no crowds, so you can't get really the extra boost. So you have to make sure that you that the game is perfect. You know, um, I think the, the strongest team will win now. So we have to make sure that uh, we are stronger than the opponent. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, uh, sports may not be allowed in the ground, but they'll still be backing you from home as well. So that must give you a little bit of a boost as well. With that, with that in mind. Yeah, of course. Uh, it will be nice that they're they're watching our games and. Um, just see that they are happy that we that we back playing again and um, yeah of course I want to see them back on the in the stadium but yeah they they are not able to so um, unfortunately we have to do it without them and um, we're gonna make sure that we we do it as best as possible without them.